Let's get more on this now with Nader Hashemi, who's an Associate Professor of Middle East Politics at Georgetown University. He joins us now from Toronto. Really good to have you back with us, Professor. So on the ballot are two very different candidates, one and considered an ultra-conservative, the other with a reform-like agenda. Who do you think might win out in this presidential runoff, given that turnout was also low this time round? Well, that's the key. Um, how many people actually turn up to vote in this second round of election? The higher the turnout, the better the prospects for the reformist candidate, because the reformist candidate, uh, Pezeshkian, uh, draws support from um, the middle class, from young people who form the majority of the population. And they've been deeply disillusioned by the project of the Islamic Republic over the last 45 years, particularly over the last 10 to 15 years, where we've seen reformist presidents and parliamentarians get elected, um, but very little can be substantively done to change the policies of the Islamic Republic. Um, and so that's the big dilemma, you know, that, that I think um, the potential supporters of the reformist candidate are facing. Um, do they participate in a vote with um, un uncertainty as to whether reformist president will, will, will be able to pursue independent policies, or do they just sit it out and uh, allow for an ultra hardliner to come to power who will arguably make the um, make the uh, policies of the Islamic Republic of Iran more draconian and more harsh, both internationally and domestically. It is the Ayatollah who is uh, considered the supreme leader in Iran, despite uh, who wins uh, this election. But uh, the president will have a say in terms of electing Ayatollah Khamenei's successor. Uh, I'm wondering, given the low voter turnout we've seen, not only in this election, but also in most recent ones, does that undermine uh, this concept of clerical rule in Iran? Well, yes. Um, that's actually, I think, uh, at the heart of the uh, crisis facing the Islamic Republic right now. You know, we're, we're 45 years uh, after the 79 revolution, and we're seeing increasingly lower voter turnout uh, with every passing electoral cycle, which raises the question about the legitimacy of the system when people no longer want to cast their ballot. And I think that's actually one of the reasons why, you know, elections um, this time around were, were um, the polls were open until late in the evening, because part of this um, uh, image, Im the images that we're seeing from Iran today is very much a a public relations exercise by the regime to try and send a message to the world that notwithstanding deep domestic discontent, um, that the regime still has popularity. So it's trying to encourage people to come out to the polls. But in the first round of the, the election, we saw that the vast majority of Iranians, 60%, according to official figures, did not participate in the election. We'll have to wait and see. Um, how many people turned out at the uh, the second round of elections, which, which just wrapped up a few hours ago. That's right, and we'll keep a close eye as that vote count gets underway. Nada Hashemi, thank you as always for joining us on the program. Thanks.